What's good with y'all, man? Say, new week. You already know, new weekly talk, man. Cat's been spin on the dry side, bro. Ain't really nothing been happening too much. Uh, it, it really ain't nothing to make any type of content on because ain't nothing been happening. As you can see, let's get straight into these live events so y'all can go on ahead and see. We done went on and knocked out everything that is available at this moment, but there is no upcoming. So I don't know if they're gonna drop them later. They did drop this little June live event where we don't get nothing until June 28th. So I guess we'll be just chilling until then. Crowning the Queen, uh, is that the one with, uh, with Natalia? Yeah, 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 Crowning the Queen. Okay, okay, okay. I did not read the thing at all. I have not been reading anything lately because every time i read something they make me sad you feel me 2k you know doing something weird or they, i don't know you feel me last time i read something was they had an ambulance match out there and it wasn't even an ambulance match but uh they have the little update man where we probably ain't gonna get nothing else the money in the bank until the june 28th so we gotta chill out and wait for that it says boss battle money in the bank i can't wait until they start adding some more new bosses for faction wars bro as y'all can see man i've been still grinding I've, I've been grinding this out low key not a lot i have been slowing down a little bit man i've been doing a whole lot of stuff but as you can see bro i have been doing a lot though i think i got what one two three maybe like four rows for these sapphires and then i only got like one two three i think i counted this last time i think four of them five i got five of these uh rubies i gotta do but other than that man we almost done maybe five tickets max i'll probably be done with all these sapphires because i really ain't got that much what three six nine twelve cards i need for the sapphires and then i'm just focusing on the ruby i just been slow grinding a little bit you feel me and as you know man nothing new has happened into proven grounds at all but today is a new week so we have a new weekly tower now i already done did majority of all these matches already but i did want to do this last one with y'all because i did want to have a conversation with you and get y'all y'all mind or y'all input on on some of this stuff over here bro now i had dropped a little post asking y'all what do y'all think about the sense skater y'all rocking with it or y'all not as the the week 20 weekly tower now i'm gonna tell you the part that i didn't like about it okay yeah sense skate nakamura 85 overall striker who my problem is they dropped the same dude in the <laughs> In the token market, bro. Like, come on, cuz. There should be there should be no reason why we have a these duplicates be making me mad. There are so many cards that they could be using. Okay, I'm happy that they're using a the ricochet. I'm happy they use a Zelina, a Miz. You feel me? I'm getting tired of seeing Drew McIntyre. I'm never tired of seeing Randy. But you get what I'm trying to say. Then we already got a, a, a dirty dom. I'm tired of seeing the same old revamped cards over and over and over. We have a lot of cards that they could be using. Let's go through some. Me. Booker T. Now, no, no, well, yeah, we, we had an update, uh, updated Booker, but half of these cards, when they do come out, they way behind where we don't need them no more because we already got better cards to be using. So most of these cards was like irrelevant. Our truth wasn't relevant at all. Look at the dude badges. He wasn't relevant. Plus, he came out late. You feel me? A lot of these cards came out late. That what makes them kind of, uh, you know, iffy, iffy because they weren't even close to top tier at all. Uh, Ilya he's cool you can get by with him but if you got stone cold and all the other stuff what's the use of even going down to him uh seth freaking rollins i ain't seen well this set is decent <laughs> my boy got uh amateur sing like a b got merch opportunities in wet blanket yeah this set is is decent but i'm saying there are other cards that could be used that's what i'm trying to make an example out of we could have got a love wig you feel me a a, a, a diesel uh, a, a, a Tommaso, you know what I'm saying? Something, bro. Heck, a Wolf game. Give us an up to date Wolf game that's playable at this moment. Don't give us a Wolf game that don't have no badges on them, that, that's trash, that, that, that can't compete right now, and there's no reason to even use them. Half the cards we be getting lately are behind what we already have. So they are not really usable or playable. With the Sensuke, I'm cool, but we already have one inside the token market even though a lot of people haven't made it to the token market but once you get to the token market half them cards inside the token market is going to be unplayable i don't understand what's the use of the token market you might as well scrap the token market because we don't i could be wrong there could be a few people that actually get some cards from the token market and and think that these cards are playable or that it will still use these cards now if you just plan just to play understand i play to win i'm looking for the best cards to get me my dub and that's all I care about. I don't care about nothing else. What's easier to get me through these matches is what I'm trying to use. Now, I might challenge myself every now and then, but I do that every day regardless playing universe mode, putting it on hard 
and then taking a 30 overall and try to win a belt like that. That what keeps my skills up to date and up to par is because I put myself in situations to be good at this game. I ain't saying I'm good, good at this game because I don't play online. We're playing online and all this stuff. You got to get used to the latency. You got to get used to people's tendencies of what they constantly do online and how people usually play. And then once you get that down, then yeah, everything else is easy. But I do feel like it was a waste to actually come out with that Shinsuke when we already have an 85 Amethyst Striker Shinsuke in here. Now, even though he do have different badges in a way. My boy got always said coming sting like a being weapon master. And then this one got dirty trickster, slippery ill, and sting like a bee. If I had a choice, I would want the other one anyway, the Token Mark of Shinsuke, not the weekly tower. I just feel like there's a lot more cards they can be using that can be a lot more better. At this moment, there's a lot of NST superstars that they can be using right now. Even if they ain't known or they ain't top of the top or whatever, it'd be good just to use some of those. Them them cards could be the ones that's inside the token market. You feel? me the up and coming to get people to notice their name and all this other stuff or put some uh eyes on superstars that haven't you hear me like i don't know like because the token market is going to be behind regardless nobody's going to really use those cards in the token market let's keep it 100 when the token market come out or when we are able to even reach half of that because these tokens comes out slowly little bit by little bit now you could be getting some through here you, like I can get a 20 token right here if I get the Undertaker, which I've been trying to uh, slowly complete a little bit. I need Omos for this. But if you told up all this, it's still not gonna be enough to get me to Amethyst. So they are slowly rolling out these tokens, which is taking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? To actually get to Amethyst. And then you gotta think about, you still need a hundred and something tokens just to buy a card from the Amethyst token market. So not just trying to get to the Amethyst is what kind of difficult, when you get there trying to have enough tokens to buy a amethyst card is going to be difficult by that time man we be already on diamond <laughs> the amethyst token market is going to be relevant nobody's going to be using no amethyst token market unless they come out with live events requiring us to use certain cards out of the amethyst token market other than that nobody's going to go back and go play with those cards that's just my opinion well i'm not gonna go back let me say that there might be some people that might go back and play but i'm just saying for me i'm not going back to go use no amethyst cards when i'm in diamond or if i have way better amethyst cards to play with now like i said man i was supposed to have this conversation in the match but i did save this last match uh to do it with y'all man i'm going straight in with uh with sheamus so let's go ahead and see how this go all right so we got two amethysts this is gonna be simple i'm gonna try to take out well, I guess Captain Jack is going to be the first one. <laughs> he came first. Now, I wanted to get Undertaker and Undertaker gone somewhere, bro. And uh, Kane. But I'll take this. Matter of fact, let's go to Undertaker right now since he want to mess with me. Now, I'm, I'm trying to save the weak links for later. Well, this is only 30. This is going to be kind of simple. Stay down, uh, JBL. Hey, I didn't hit him. Let go. Uh, I get the hoaxer. Why not? I thought there was more. I did not look at the my faction points requirements. This is this is so simple. Stun him up. Go ahead, JBL. Do your thing. Take her cane. Hey, are y'all gonna do you? This is simple. I hey. It's simple and easy. A lot of people been asking for simple and easy matches. Now, even though I do feel like the Blad, now the uh, Dijak was a, whew, that one right there. You hear me? That was a doozy. Even though I do feel like though, I was not trying to do that. Thank you. Hey, hey, go ahead. Even though I feel like that was a that 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 match was a little doozy. I kind of liked it afterwards. I know a lot of people don't like it because they feel like the matches is too hard. I liked it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want my matches too easy. You feel me, then? Because once I run through it, I ain't gonna have nothing else to do. Now, I, I, I get and I understand for the ones that really don't like my faction anyway. They just want to get in, get their little persona cards, or get whatever cards they want, and then they're gonna move on about their day. I understand them that don't want to do it. Hey, get up out of here. But for a person that plays my faction and actually plays it, plays it, and this is what they do you don't really want nothing too easy you kind of want something a little difficult just a little bit not asking for a whole lot difficult but you, you you want something to be challenging 
you don't want everything to be just just straight easy you feel me simple and easy because once you get through then what, what we got to do now we just sitting here just staring at the screen because there's nothing happening but as y'all can see man we end up getting that boy shinsuke nakamura we got shinsuke bro very simple very easy this whole thing was easy it did not take me no that long uh that that match i think what well, every all these were just super easy and simple to get straight through um, and I know a lot of people saying, bro, you be cheesing the matches, bro, come on. If you play, I think, I don't know if it's the people that's new to my, my faction or what. What y'all call cheese is normal. <laughs> you feel me? The things that y'all call cheese is super normal. Just because I throw someone outside the ring. Now I'm not doing it to nobody online. I'm doing it to the CPU, bro. If you actually try to play that uh, that blurred Davenport, you might have a chance, but you're gonna have to use Katana Chance or someone that can probably do springboard attacks, which most of them only have corner springboard. I haven't tried uh, Danielle Wallace at all, so I don't really know if she has springboard everywhere. But from what I've known, Katana only have it in the corner, or you have to get on the apron to jump back into the ring to do her springboards. I, 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 I don't like having to do springboards only in certain spots. I, I, I don't like it. I don't know about everybody else. I, I personally don't, you feel me? Um, but if you use her, you probably have a high chance for that because you gain finishers and your signatures a lot more faster doing springboards, which I just found out when I was doing the die jack one. But like I said, to each his own, I'm not fit to sit here and try to get two pins on somebody in five minutes for no reason. I, I tested out because my, my guy Jeff had called me out a little bit. This is not to you, Jeff, at all. You feel me? None of this is towards you. He called me out to see if I can get two, two pins off of him. I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. I probably did. I didn't even try that hard. I think I probably could have. But yeah, I, 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 I didn't. You feel me? It, it takes too long to prop her resiliency, and then you gotta do that, and then you also gotta try to turn around and get a pin, and you gotta get another pin. Now, if I use Katana Chance, I did not use Katana, I used Zaya Lee. I was trying to see if I could get it with Zaya Lee by just by using her. It's a little, it's gonna be a little difficult because her finisher don't go up as fast as I could if I had Katana doing springboard and all that stuff on her. So yeah, man, I just gave it up. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think about everything, bro. Right now, everything is kind of dry. I don't think new that we have really was the weaker tower. Uh, nothing else has really happened that I know of. Uh, also, hold up, hold up before I go too far. There has been a new oddity that has dropped and that is my guy, Randy freaking Orton. Now, I also have a problem with these oddities. Some of y'all probably don't. I do. Half of these cards are going to be irrelevant inside of my faction, and that's a problem to me. I, I don't know if anybody has completed any one of these yet. I know I haven't. I don't even have half the stuff. Well, I'm almost done with Roman Reigns. I probably could have been done if I actually got those oddities when I, from the Umaga set, but I, I made a little live event, but I didn't get to do that. But look at this. Trick Williams. We got Trick Williams. We got Seth freaking Rollins. These are Persona cards, so they are going to be able to be played through the whole mode. So these are still going to be relevant outside of the mode, but in the mode, they are not going to be relevant at all in my mind because they cards is going to be lackluster when that time comes. Now, you could just use them to play with them, but why use them in here when you could just use them in other game modes? You feel me? So I don't like that they dropping these so late. I hate the way that 2K do their stuff. They drop cards so late. By the time they drop them, it's not even exciting no more. Or the cards is unplayable and the only thing that i'm using half these cards for is just doing them just to get my collectors level up other than that i'm not playing with i'm not touching none of these cards at all the cody Rhodes is not gonna get touched now i feel like it's gonna be the same thing with my boy randy bro and i haven't even looked at his stats yet we can go ahead and go through his stats if you want to see them um you know i like seeing the badges my boy got ooh, robber rouse on gold sting like a bee amethyst mercy stop tunas amethyst they did switch him back to technician though that's the only thing they switched my boy back to that technician but i just hope he's not unplayable by the time we get all the oddities we need just for just to be able to play with him i'm hoping that he comes out before diamond come out and i hope that he comes out before pink diamonds drop like there's no reason to show us cards that we can't use until they irrelevant like they need to fix that also he's not a persona card i don't think he's going to be able to be used in no other mode but this so that's another downer you can't use him in no other modes and by the time we play with him he's gonna be irrelevant i'll probably still hop on and play with him every now and then because that's my boy randy but yeah that's that's crazy and then the last thing man that was brought to my attention <laughs> they switched Jam damien priest to an evolution card an evo card 
uh, which is cool because we do need more Evo cards. I, I feel like they should drop a lot more Evo cards. Last year, they barely even dropped any Evo cards. What's the use of having Evo cards if you're not going to even release now? We only just had two so far. They are giving us a Damien Priest that would look like, like he's going to start at Ruby and he got to work his way up to Amethyst. But at the same time, we need more Evo cards, bro. I like that they are dropping this one. I hope that they end up dropping more inside packs or something. Give us more Evo cards out here that give us a reason and stuff to do to, to get these cards up there. I don't know. I just like to see my badges go up. <laughs> I like I like to see them be at a certain, you know what I'm saying, like a, a gold, not gold, but like a silver sting like a bee and then work it up to an amethyst. I don't know. I like to do I like to see that. That's probably just me. I'm probably just weird. But yeah, man, we got Damien Caprice that's gonna be an evil card. I don't know how they're gonna release them, but I hope that it ain't nothing crazy where we gotta try to pull packs and try to get the cards and stuff like that, man. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it right there, bro. I think I done covered everything that I want to talk about. Uh, like I said, right now everything is kind of dry. I had noticed this, but I also had got someone had told me. I forgot who told me. I apologize, but uh, someone had reminded me in the comments that they had changed the Damon Priest card into an Evo card and all that stuff, bro. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Am I wrong? Am I right? How y'all feeling about the oddities and the Randy Orton? How do y'all feel about Faction Wars? We still haven't got any more bosses at this moment. How do y'all feel about the live event? We have no up and coming. I think we ain't getting nothing on that until like the 28th. I think that's what it said again. Hey, I'll be seeing stuff and I'll be forgetting the other 28. Right now, we are in a dry state <laughs> at this moment. We don't have really nothing to look forward to. Uh, also, how y'all feeling about the weekly tower when it comes to Shinsuke Nakamura? I feel like it's all right. Well, I, I don't really feel like it's all right. I feel like they could have used a whole different card or a better card because we already have his card, bro, in the token market. And how y'all feeling about the token market? Are y'all rocking with it? Like, I like, the, I like the token market, but I feel like the token market is irrelevant. It's just there if you just need to collect cards for... Your, your, your collector's level but other than that the token market is kind of trash you feel me not gonna lie to you but yeah man i've been rambling for too long this video is longer than what i was supposed to be having anyway like i said let me know what y'all think about everything am i wrong am i right let me know what i'm wrong about let me know what i'm right about and just voice your opinion and we'll, we'll go back and forth in the comment section man but i get y'all the next one i'm out